Hi, my name is Xiaohui Zhou. I'm a principal engineer at Slipstream. Today, I'm going to give a short presentation about building automation system architecture. First, I'm going to talk about what is a building automation system, a simplified building automation system architecture and its key components, followed by DOD-specific building automation system architecture called UMCS architecture and a UFC five-level control system architecture. So what is a building automation system? There are different names and acronyms, such as Building Automation System, BAS, Utility Monitoring and Control System, UMCS, Energy Management and Control System, EMCS, Direct Digital Control System, DDC, or Building Management System, EMS. There are many others. Let's look at a typical commercial building with HVAC equipment. You may have chiller, air handling unit, variable air volume VV terminal units, cooling tower, rooftop unit, and fans, pumps, other mechanical equipment. How these HVAC equipment are controlled? These HVAC equipment are controlled by field controllers. These field controllers have inputs and outputs, such as thermostat, current transducers, variable frequency drives, VV dampers, etc. There's another type of controller called supervisory controller. And then you have operator workstation, you have a server and network communication interface. Modern building automation system is a networked system. In this three-tier system architecture, there are enterprise IT network, blue line, building control network, green line, and the field control network, dotted green lines. If you remove the building structure and the HVAC equipment, the rest of the components, including the network, is called Building Automation System, BAS, or Utility Monitoring Control System, UMCS. Let's look at a simplified building automation system architecture example. Enterprise IT network, building control network, and field control network. And field controller inputs and outputs are directly connected to field controllers. Now the workstation and servers together, they are also called UMCS front end. Let's look at some of the key components. Communications interface. A communication interface is to connect the building automation system with the outside world. It usually is a gateway or router. A communications interface is not a FPOC or field point of connection device, which is usually placed in here. Workstation typically has the software with the user interface for monitoring control and maintenance. Modern building automation systems often have the web-based interface and is common in the private sector, but may not be preferred in DoD facilities. Server in a building automation system is used to collect, store, and serve building automation system data and web pages. It's used to store long-term building automation system trend data. Typically, you have a standard database like SQL or MySQL, etc. But this is optional for small building automation systems. For a BAS server, reliable high-speed network, high computing power, large storage capacity, and backup service are essential. Building control network connects BS workstation, BS server, and supervisory controllers. The most commonly used cable are Ethernet cables, such as CAT5, CAT5E, or CAT6. The maximum length is 328 feet per segment. The most commonly used protocol is BACnet IP. 
the supervisory controller connects both field control network and building control network. It provides global networked coordination and controls. It's fully programmable and can be with or without inputs or output channels. The data typically comes from the field controllers and goes through supervisor controller, then sent to the workstation or BS server. Between the field controllers, they typically don't talk peer to peer. Rather, they communicate through the supervisory controller as well. Field control network is used to communicate among field controllers. The most common wires used are stranded, shielded, twisted pair. Maximum length about 4,000 feet. The most commonly used protocol is BACnet MSTP or master slave token passing. We're not going to discuss the detailed protocol here. The network speed ranges from 9.6 kilobit per second to 76.8 kilobit per second. The field controllers typically is used to control local HVAC equipment and be part of the field control network. They do have inputs and output channels, could be with or without embedded sensors and actuators, and they're potentially fully programmable, but also could be configurable. In a programmable controller, you can program any sequence you want. In a configurable controller, there are pre-configured and pre-loaded software. You can only select the available points and configure certain outputs and inputs and parameters, but you cannot freely program any sequence that you want. Few devices are sensors and control devices. These are typically inputs and outputs directly connected to the field controllers, such as thermostat, current transducers, vibro frequency drives, or the damper actuators or valve actuators. Let's look at the base-wide utility monitoring and control system architecture. The UMCS monitoring and control software usually resides on a BAS building automation system operator workstation. But UMCS also monitor other systems, not just the building automation systems. And it's typically owned or managed by others, not the facility management. The facility control system or FCS here is basically the building automation system we talked about earlier without the server and operator workstation or UMCS front end. The building control network is called building IP network in this architecture. And the field control network is called building non-IP network in this architecture. The difference between a UMCS architecture with a simplified building automation system architecture we talk about is the field point of connection are absolutely needed in a UMCS architecture. DOD highly recommends use open system instead of closed proprietary system. And there are just a few options, BACnet, Longworks, and Niagara Framework. We're going to discuss these concepts in one of the next short presentations. In the Unified Facility Criteria, it defines a five-level control system architecture. Level five is the external connection level. Level four, central control system front end that includes operator workstations or advanced operator workstations. Level three is the field point of connection. Level two is the field control system. It's an IP network. And level one is the field control system non-IP network. There's a level zero non-networked field control system. In this UFC five-level HVAC control system architecture, 
Level one field control system, non-IP network. This is equivalent to the field control network we talked about earlier. Level two field control system or IP network. This is equivalent to the building control network we discussed earlier. Level three field point of connection devices provide another layer of security protection for the building automation system. This is another representation of the UFC five level HVAC system architecture. Level zero is basically inputs and outputs. One end non-IP network is basically the field control network. Two end IP network is basically the building controls network. Level three is switch or firewall. In level four, there are BAS servers and workstations. Everything within a dotted red line is part of a building control system. Here are several UFC references if you want to learn more about the building automation system architecture. That's the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.